Okay, so let's talk about sharpening an image. Now, when you take a photo, you've got various ways of sharpening the photo. If you're shooting JPEG, then sometimes your camera will be set to sharpen, sharpen the actual photo during the process of taking it. Then once the JPEG is made, there's very little chance of actually reducing that sharpening because it's already kind of cooked into the shot. If you shoot RAW, you can add sharpening when you take the photo, but you've got the opportunity of actually removing that sharpening when you're actually processing the RAW photo. But let's say you have a JPEG like I've got here. Let's load one in. Um, I've got a JPEG here that was taken way back in 2009. If we look at the settings quickly, so when you're in Photoshop, if you do Shift, Control, Alt, I, it brings up the, the data. And you can see there with the camera data, it was taken with a 5D Mark II with a 50mm lens, one of my favourites, at 100th of a second f6.3 ISO 320. So there may be a little bit of noise, but it's the sharpening I'm going to be looking at. Now, to look at the photo at 100%, if you press Control Alt 0, that will take the photo to 100%. Now, if you are into shooting stock, that's exactly what a one of the moderators will do to check for your sharpening. Now you can see here I focused the lens and the shot at 6.3 I think it was on the chest plate and you can see there that's perfectly in focus so no problems there. But the, the face is ever so slightly out of focus you can see. So the eyes are very slightly blurred. Now if I wanted to just add some sharpening just to increase that very slightly there's various ways. If we go to filter sharpen you've got all these options here but there's a method i learned many years ago probably when i first started using photoshop where you can just sharpen the light channels so if you go to image mode we go to 16 bits per channel then we go to image mode lab color and then if we go over here to our channels palette and just click lightness we're now only going to be working on the the light parts of the channel so now if we go back into filter sharpen unsharp mask. Um, I've got some settings that I pretty much generally use all the time here. Threshold is always zero, radius is always one, and then you can adjust the amount uh, depending on the image you've got. And you've got a handy little palette here where you can see the before and after. So if you can see there, as I click the image, you can see the before and after. That's the before, that's the after. Some very subtle sort of image changes to do with the sharpness. So I think that's pretty much okay. You can also do the main screen with the preview button there. So for me, that's just a very subtle amount of sharpening. So I'm going to leave it at that and click OK. And then we take the photo back to RGB and back to 8 bits per channel. So now you can see that's done a good bit of sharpening to the face. So it's, it's improved it a bit. So if we revert this back now to what it was, you can now see it's very slightly blurred. And if we go back again, you can see as I alter it, as I go between before and after, that we have in fact changed the sharpening quite a bit on there. Now this method will actually sharpen the whole photo so if when we look at the chest plate where the focusing was and we go before and after you can see it's made quite a bit of difference with the sharpening. Now if you don't like that additional sharpening there you can go to your history brush tool and then literally just zap over there and that will revert that sharpen back to how it was before you did the sharpening on the face. Okay, so we can just do that. And if there are other areas where you think you've over sharpened, um, then obviously you can do those as well. But that now has pretty much just sharpened the face because everything else in the shot is pretty much blurred. Uh, the chest plate we've reverted back. So now we've got the chest plate and the face, which are the, the main kind of points of emphasis on the photo. They're now both pretty sharp. So it's just improved it slightly. So I hope that helps. It's just one method of doing sharpening. There's so many different ways out there, so many filters and add-ons and plugins you can use. But this is just a, an old method I like to use where you're just li uh, sharpening the, the light areas of the uh, channels.